opinions shouldn't really matter to you any motherfucking 100. way. No one right. can really right. give you right. Right. nobody. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to say this on this I mean, point. Everyone is a 10 or whatever exactly. it is you want to be in your own right. What you say about me doesn't make me shit, sleep, eat, piss, or anything. So okay, but it's all about someone's perspective, and I don't yeah. even really believe in ratings. You can, you can say opinion, but there's still facts here. So like, if so you what were, is the fact? The, the fact, fact is, is someone if, can give let me you a finish number. my point. Wait, let me let finish. Me, no, let me I'm finish talking. My you point. asked me to talk, right? No, whose podcast are you on? Yours. Okay, but don't you forget asked it. Me to talk, don't right? forget it. So remember, what I was saying was, if you're a 10, you would be like on the cover of a magazine. You'd be a model. You'd be getting paid. That's, to do a, that's only if somebody wants to do that with the publicist exactly. and the right productions over it. People say, oh, I want to do this. And they don't have the means or the connections to get there. There's a lot of tens that are not on Vogue or shouldn't have even been on yeah. Vogue. It's all about opinions and also the titles. Here's the thing. I just find it funny how if I was to just call myself a billionaire or a trillionaire, you guys would be like, what the fuck? That's kind of no, funny. We, ha, wouldn't ha, ha. Know that. we wouldn't know that. Yeah, but it wouldn't be true. It wouldn't be factually true. And to be honest, you'd probably say, oh, yeah, I manifested. Then you'd go back home and laugh at me. This nigga's delusional. My thing is, is that we like girls do this all the time, though. And we never like kind of check them like, bro, you're not a 10. You're who not. Even started the whole, not... Who even started the whole rating thing? Do <laughs> us as women say this guy is a 10 or... That guy is a 20. No, or girls, a well, girls don't do that. What I've, what I've realized is from interviewing almost 15, well over 1,500 girls at this point, it's amazing to me how many 11s and 20s and 21s or I don't meet on the scale or I'm perfect. Uh, we, we let women kind of lie to themselves and tell them that they're perfect and they don't and need any self-improvement. And we let men lie to themselves too. They be like, oh, God, I got a big ass dick. Ah, ah, ah. You pull it down, you be like, all right, shrimp, what happened to the dick? Mm, okay. I, well, I think at the end of the day, you are in one body for your whole life and you should just love yourself exactly. and who you are in that body and no one else's opinion should matter oh. at all. I, I, yeah. It's confidence. It's not conceited. I could go home, look at myself in the mirror and pick apart every single flaw I have on my face, every single flaw on my body. Which would mean, by definition, you're not but, a 10. But, but if I think myself gotcha, like that, like, why would I want to downplay myself? We all have flaws. It's but called delusion. Have... But do, yeah, you not, do, you not see, do you not see how you're contradicting yourself lies, right yeah, now? Like, for, but, from, from, a 10 of... a assumes you're perfect. And then you're saying yeah. here, I have flaws. So yeah. by definition, you are not perfect. But, yeah, but flaws can be perfect. Hello. Yeah. That was like cute. Perception. I like perception. that. Flaws and all. Hello. Yeah. Yes, because some your flaws to someone else may be their best thing what? about you. The perception of beauty is also different, different. by every culture, every mm -hmm. country, yeah. every I mean the perception of beauty doesn't have to be what we're referring to as rating right now. Like that's you, that's yeah. that's a lie. I mean, beauty is if it's fairly fairly general what men find attractive. What, what is attractive? Tree. You yes. know, it, it, it's it's fairly universal, right? Yeah. Like if you take someone that's attractive in Spain versus someone that's attractive in the United States or someone that's attractive in Canada, they're they're gonna be they're gonna be quite a bit of overlap. I mean, okay, there's a lot of degree. agreement when when it comes to the perception of beauty, but when when you ask a girl, okay, rate yourself from zero to ten. Like I hope that every goddamn female that I come across rates herself at least a goddamn ten. Like, but the the argument is that if you were really a ten, you would be. A model getting paid it, to be on the cover of Sports Illustrated, etc. I know a lot like, of bad bitches that are the baddest of baddest, and they're not worrying about being a model. They're not worrying about being none of that. Most of those girls are not even into the beauty industry. The reason they're why into something else. That's yeah. true. Here's the thing. Because at the yeah. end of the day, beauty fades. So. I'd rather put and that's all what of my beauty about. and all of that into something that's going to make me a longevity around the money, so I don't have to look back on my beauty. Period. Well, that's most women's agency is their beauty. <laughs> Question mark. So, but what, what can, but my thing is, what can you make your beauty do for you, though? I mean, that's, you just, that's, you just that, change the argument. That, that's the whole. No, it's the, it still goes in the same argument. It doesn't because the the thing is, the is thing that, is, no one can really rate can themselves, and nobody can really rate them either. Can you, can you stop Period. Oh, it's more. Can I let them talk, please? Like, yeah, like you got to uh, chill a little bit. You know, we yeah. from, I'm from Park Heights, yeah, so yeah, okay, yeah, that's, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, 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 that's yeah, relevant to the conversation where you're from. I mean, respect is respect. Um, I'm giving you that. Not really. But um, anyway, what I'm saying is that when it comes to rating, you can't arbitrarily give yourself a certain rating. Just like I can't call myself a billionaire, a woman can't sit there and call herself a 10. The thing is, is that you got to look at there's a market. Who consumes female beauty? Well, in general, it's men. So if you don't have 
a guy by your side, right, to validate that you're a 10 or you're not getting paid for it by, by being on the cover of a magazine or whatever it may be. If you were a 10, someone would, would discover you. That's people the reality. Think, people think because you're on a magazine, this and that. Uh, and then a 10 people, says uh, you're perfect. A lot, of, a lot of people get pay, used to pay to get in magazines and used to be frauded and shit like that. So it makes you a better of a bitch than me because you're on a magazine and I'm not. It's an example. but we're not, not, saying- not really because if that's your platform, that's what you're supposed to be doing. We're not saying you can't have confidence. We're just saying, look, at the end of the day, you yourself are confident in your looks. Absolutely. However, people looking at you from the outside are saying, you know what? In my head, she's cool, but she ain't a 10. So we're just saying, look, from your standpoint, you might be a 10, but look at the other what other people are saying about you. Like, I know you're saying opinions don't matter. But who gives a fuck? Honestly, <laughs> do any of y'all ladies here give a fuck about what another bitch got to say about you? Never. Never. Do you give a Hold fuck on. if a bitch... Listen, what if it's wait, true? How is it? What's your definition of true? true no, no. Is the, but what is true? Is your only true is the only of what you believe is true. Raise your hand what, if you're married. Incorrect. Hold on. True is Hold only on. what okay, you so believe you. is no, true. No. So, the truth right? is the truth is objective. Yeah. Your opinion of said truth is irrelevant. There's there's one truth, and this is something else that's kind of crazy that a lot of you know crazy liberals and a lot of women say is like, oh my truth, blah blah blah. There's no such thing. There's one objective truth. The truth is not subjective. Your appreciation of the truth. Is subjective. However, however, the truth is objective. And that's that's fine too. <laughs> but you know, it's funny. If everyone was a ten, as you you guys see on the panel, you wouldn't get lip fillers, BBLs, you know, uh, breast implants. Like, yeah, I don't have any of that. Yeah, well, I'm yeah, saying in general. So... But at the end of the day, you can say what you want. If a bug is on you and you don't know, someone's gonna tell you a bug is on you. Mm-hmm. So you still need someone to validate or even or they tell won't you tell you it's on you and make you look stupid. You get what I'm saying though. I do. The the whole concept here is that <laughs> women arbitrarily give themselves a value, right? That isn't necessarily agreed upon by the market and it's not shown by the market. I'm saying that I can't sit here and call myself a billionaire if I'm not really a billionaire. Whereas we let women run around and say, I'm a 10, I'm perfect, blah, blah, blah. When that's not the truth. Women, so get, women, get, women get the benefit of being delusional is what I'm trying to say. Men so can't do, do that. So do, so do men. Really? Men oh. and women, we both do the same thing. A man will tell you straight, oh, I got this, I got that, and this, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Because you got you it. You go there, it ain't none of us on Instagram. Everything is all smoke and mirrors. Do women, do, women do it too. We yeah. Everybody does it. Yeah. But, that's, yeah. Just, that's just the day in the life that we're in that now has come to the light. But that that actually, what you just said validates what I'm saying. So men, men have to live in a fact-based reality. Women don't. And I'll explain what I mean by that. You just gave an example of a guy lying about his lifestyle and portraying himself to be something that he's not. Why did he do that? Let's peel the layer back. The reason why is because he knows that performance matters as a man. He needs to be able to have a certain lifestyle. He needs to be able to convey a certain type of status. So knowing that, he's adapting to reality, knowing that women are attracted to this, and he's lying because he understands that there's a burden of performance on men. Of course. On the other hand, though, Women don't have to perform. Women just exist and they get invited to certain situations. They get put in certain situations. They get certain opportunities just for being a woman. And I'm not saying this to attack or, you know, uh, penalize you. I'm just saying that men have to operate on a fact-based reality because if you're a man and you're a loser, reality reflects that you're a loser. Girls don't call you back. You don't get dates. Your peers don't respect you. People make fun of you, etc. When you're a woman and you're a loser, that reality might not smack you in the face until you're until later on in life. So oh, women not- can be mediocre. Men cannot. That's what I'm trying to say. That's why we let women run around and call each other tens, right? When they're in reality, they're not. They don't have a man by their side that's high value enough to di- call them a ten. They don't. They're not getting paid off for their looks, etc. But they run around and say they're a ten. I've had chicks on this show that are uh, over two hundred pounds looks. that are saying that they're a ten, and I'm saying that women are afforded that luxury because we don't tell women the truth. Women, men, however, though, have to perform. If they don't, their reality is reflected for them being a loser. Does that make sense? It does. I mean, so that's why that guy had to lie to you. Not just lying to me, he lied to his damn self. I'm believing. Of course, of course. But that that proves my point that he understands that there's a burden of performance. He wasn't able to do it, so he lied about it. And also, us as women, if a girl don't have a certain attribute to a guy, oh, she coming over. Let me see how she look. If she not that, uh, you not coming over. Period. So what, when, what was that? So if, if she doesn't meet a certain certain. If a, if a woman doesn't meet a man's criteria when it comes to physical attributes, she will get declined as well. Period. Most men would have sex with most women, though. Well, Versus well, most women well, would not have sex well, with most cir- men. Well, the circles that I'm around. Yeah, the top, what, the circles, the top athletes. Okay, so because, listen, the circles I'm around, yeah. if I show your pictures to one of my homeboys and he ain't feeling it, no, she can't come. Right. But if I show her a picture, 
oh, she da 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 I, okay. she can come. So it's the same as it is for men than it is for women, but just with a man, it's not as Here's the problem. as much. Yeah, what you're referring to is something called the apex fallacy. You're referring to a very small minority of men that they're at the apex. That's not a reflection of reality. You're dealing with athletes, celebrities, whatever, men that are spoiled for choice. Yes, they can afford to be picky, but most men don't fall into that demographic. Which proves my point. Most men are invisible to most women, and most men would have sex with most women, unless you're dealing with those types of guys who I have an image to keep up. I can't be around an ugly chick, but that's still a minority. Does the minority does not make the rule? To each his own. <laughs> Lovely. I, I mean, it's not necessarily to each their own. It's this is reality. To each his own. Your your personal experience does not reflect reality. I'm not saying my personal experience. Well, that's exactly I'm what you saying, refer well, to well, to make people, your point. Even all other people's as well. So, I mean, like I said, to each its own. You're, every you're, everyone every woman feel like she a ten, even if she's not a ten. Well, we were we we passed that bridge. What I'm but saying we were, is that it was all going into the same counterpart. Though it, it was not because it now is. now we're talking about it was now we're talking we're not talking about tens and everything else. Now we're talking about most men would have sex with most women. So the example you gave most from your men personal will experience. Fuck any woman. Can you stop interrupting? Most men will fuck any woman. I literally woman. just it said that. Matter. I literally just said that. I literally just said that. Okay. It don't, it don't matter. So you're just interrupting to interrupt then? No. Okay. Yes, you are. You got to stop doing that. They turned the quad of the show. The people are getting agitated here. Yeah. They're just saying, kick yeah. her off the show, whatever, <laughs> et cetera. So you just need to chill out a little bit. She right? needs some milk. <laughs> that was the funniest comment. <laughs> Is that what they said? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. 50 bucks from Venom goes, for the record,